Ja opru pe instrucții să fac om. The movie takes place. Um, it starts in 1984, but it's it's actually set in 1985, uh, which is the the beginning of the end of apartheid, is really. But it was actually the height of apartheid. So that was sort of like the the last push of the nationalist government, and there was a lot of. Um, Um, violence going on in the townships. There was a lot of unrest on the borders, which they were trying to protect. So we were all conscripted into this thing, and you had no choice. Then put all these guys into this weird thing called the South African Defence Force Church Choir and Concert Group. A lot of people thought that the Canaries was kind of like your get out of jail free card. You know, you're not going to the border, you're never probably going to pick up a gun. But they had to go through the exact same military training. And in fact, during the evenings when they were exhausted, had to do choir practice. Yeah. And then they also had to live under the constant abuse and abusive remarks and bullying from corporals and other soldiers in, in other regiments. But I think there is, there was something as draining about kind of becoming this propaganda piece of the government and the church. Jullie wat hier sit, is ons uitverkoren is. Die Canaries van 1985. We all grew up very conservatively. Television only came into this country in 1976. Um, so we were so shut off from the rest of the world that we had no idea what was going on. And from the moment television came in was the first time that we started getting a glimpse of the rest of the world and we started seriously questioning. So my generation was the first one that, that, that grew up with this questioning thing of confronting our, our parents and saying, explain to me why, why, why. And, uh, and that generation was not used to anybody ever questioning anything. We wanted to do a genre experiment in terms of taking a musical and the kind of army beats, army film, period army movie that you get and also coming of age. Not stereotypical, but the beats you'd expect from a coming out story as well. Yeah. And that kind of genre experiment of those parameters really guided the screenplay in what it needed to be. It's always the difficult thing of shooting a period movie with in South Africa and with the budget that we have. First of all, you can't afford doing it in a studio somewhere or um, building an entire venue or a barracks or whatever. So you have to film on location. And a lot of the times we had to come up with very creative solutions of solving not being able to show that. But in a way that kind of made for a very claustrophobic feel. And I think it was a happy accident. It yeah. was something we were forced to do, and um, and it kind of really gave the sense of a cage, yeah. <laughs> canary being in a cage. Yeah. So dry, yeah. Coke it webs done. Don't fly here. and their tannies, and their reels, and their wette, and their hart, and their police.